Investigators are digging into local requirements for carnival rides following a Connecticut incident that injured 18 people, including 17 children. Now, this is video of the scene on Sunday at the Norwalk Oyster Festival. Investigators say the swing ride suddenly stopped, sending riders crashing into each other. And we wanted to know how our local carnivals are inspected. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto is live now in our newsroom with the exclusive details. We found out Rhode Island rides are supposed to be inspected at least once before they start spinning, and in some cases twice. According to investigators, the Norwalk swing ride had been inspected just two days before Sunday's accident. Yesterday we were here that made what eyewitnesses saw all the more surprising. It seemed to be going like it's normal, and all of a sudden I heard like a thunder or like a bang, and just right, I couldn't believe it. We checked the General Assembly's website and found out the Rhode Island Amusement Ride Safety Act requires annual inspections by a professional engineer for every ride that is owned by a Rhode Island business and an inspection by a state inspector for rides after they're set up in the state. Rhode Island inspections and permits are handled by the State Department of Administration's Building Commissioner's Office. And according to the law, willfully violating the Safety Act can bring a $5,000 fine and up to a year in prison. We dug through the Eyewitness News archives and the last Rhode Island carnival incident we found was in 1999 when four people were stranded on a roller plane ride in Lincoln. The website amusementsafety.org indicates Rhode Island carnivals have been accident free in recent years with three amusement ride accidents with injuries in Massachusetts since 2010, including one at Six Flags this year. Connecticut has had four accidents since 2006, including the one in Norwalk. We also found out from another national website that there are nine states throughout the country that don't require any inspections whatsoever. None of those states are located in New England. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.